BYU recently released an ad. It's, uh, we're going to watch it. It's going to take you a, a little bit to understand what they're getting at, but I think that you're going to like it. The of the Great War are many. The battles are real. And the strategies are clever. The enemy is cruel, ruthless, and relentless. We must not underestimate the danger. We must be vigilant and valiant. A lonely, confused young man gets addicted to pornography. His roommates know but they do nothing to help him. He stops going to church, and there is darkness in his eyes. modern society, the enemy has spread fear of getting involved when someone's in trouble. Don't leave the wounded on the battlefield. Stick together. You don't need to be a more righteous than thou person. We're all sinners. We all have troubles. We've all been spiritually wounded in the battles of the Great War. But you who have felt the redeeming power of Christ, you who know his love and his grace, you know he can heal all wounds. If you reach out in a spirit of love and humility, you can help the spiritually wounded find the Savior. If you need to, talk to your bishop. Tell someone who can do something that you have a friend in trouble. Don't be silent. Don't leave the wounded on the battlefield. Jesus Christ. Oh, that, that's the best that ever. That's for like all your soldiers that you masturbate into like a, a, a napkin. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to leave all you guys on the battlefield. Dunk. No, 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 don't take it with you. Don't leave them behind. Give one to your future wife. <laughs> An old monkey napkin. <laughs> Sorry, that got really God. disgusting really fast. That's what? Just saying. <laughs> That's inside baseball. Okay, or inside some balls, anyway. Uh -huh. um, effective, do you think? I love the metaphor. Uh -huh. I love metaphors, you guys. Like, I'm really into them. So that was really entertaining. Who's the um, enemy in that? Who's the enemy on the battlefield? They're just like charging oh. toward an enormous boner with bayonets. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! No, it'd, it'd be something gaping, I think. Just a big old it's modern. Old. A modern war. Yeah. Right. Ugh, so <laughs> gross. I love it, because at the beginning, you're like, what is this about? Okay, I know. It's, I'm pretty sure it's going to be gayness. <laughs> pretty sure it's the... It's incredibly homoerotic. They have, like, that look, you yeah. know? Uh, <laughs> I'm going into my room now. I, um, I'm surprised they didn't add, like, they need to add to make it better. Add, like, sound effects when he's watching the thing. Because they <laughs> click. His facial expressions, too, when he was, like, by the tree, like, down there, his legs open, you couldn't, like, see much. It was, like, it was right. <laughs> As the French call it, le petit like, Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, so nobody has mentioned yet how creepy it is. This guy is so addicted to porn that he doesn't even bother to close the door <laughs> when he starts bapping. That was odd. That, uh, yeah, that didn't make any and sense. And his friend was, like peeks in, holds it for a second, <laughs> presumably watching him masturbate. And he's like, you scamp. I just want him to go and <laughs> walk answer away. the voice. Like, am I supposed to talk to him now? Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, what? So what do you want to talk about? <laughs> What are, we wanna, what are we doing here? No, I agree with the BYU guy. Be, don't be silent, but don't like tell him to stop watching porn. Tell him to close his fucking door. Don't that's, be silent. That's just common courtesy. It doesn't even take Christianity at that point. Okay, but I, you're not supposed to leave the soldiers alone. You're supposed to be there with your buddy. Maybe he needed a hand. Yeah, put your arm around. Just creep up. Put your arm around him. Um, but also, I, I love the imagery. It's not if there's two of us. <laughs> 
So uh, there, there was a comment off camera where you noticed that he brings him to the bishop. He goes alone into the bishop's place, and then the door slowly closes. <laughs> I don't know if that's the solution he was looking for. I think you're talking about the bishop, as in like a, it looks like the bishop chess no, piece. No, no, it's like a jerking off euphemism, like oh, bopping the bishop. I didn't even know that it's, was it's a jerking off euphemism. Make sure you talk to your bishop. I'm oh, sorry, he's been talking. But also, I think the guy in the beginning was confused um, when he said, uh, "Don't leave a wounded soldier behind," and I think that he's confused just because he's spewing. Bodily fluids doesn't mean that he's wounded. <laughs> Damn. He's leaking. Ew. White blood. But yeah, so the, so delicious I white think... blood. <laughs> um, so I, I I think that there is a conversation to have, which we'll have soon about pornography and watching too much of it and all that stuff. But the way that they're they're approaching it, I think, is just going to turn off so many people. So I was talking with Jenk earlier, and he was like, we always talk about how the war on drugs is a failure. It's a huge failure. They need to stop it. Absolutely. But the war on drugs is only 100 times more successful than any war on porn will ever be. <laughs> and I'm glad that their art students got to make a really cool video with Saving Private Ryan effects and stuff like that. But this is not going to stop one person from watching that MILF video. I love the... Uh, okay, look, you guys. As the uh, per sex nerd sexologist. person, not a sexologist, mm -hmm. I don't do research and stuff. But um, I will say that watching that, uh, just in terms of the, the the takeaway that is good of that, is that if you replace like the fapping with like <laughs> drinking, if you have a friend who is you know missing church or missing school or like being negatively effective in a lot of their life because of some habit they're picked up, whether it's porn or whatever, that does is a strong sign of addiction, in which case it is better to speak up and yeah. care about your friend than to just be like, well, that's him falling down that rabbit hole. So uh, you're saying all people have to do is cut out that section with him watching him masturbate, <laughs> or alternatively make a parody video by putting anything else in that section, and then the rest of the video makes so much more sense. I just I mean, I, I'm really into metaphors, so I, but I mean, to me it was funny because the war scene is like, you know, you're dodging sin, life is dodging sin all over mm -hmm. the place, sin. Um, and so I, I have major problems when people think that like sex is bad and, and any sort of temptation is bad because that's problematic mm -hmm. and denying some very natural parts of how we're designed mm -hmm. as people. Um, but I do like that it is acknowledging addiction. So it's, 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 there is some good in there, but at the same time it's also Really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there is evidence that babies or fetuses uh, masturbate in utero. Like, it's completely natural I love phenomenon. That you made a tiny little <laughs> yeah, you went. thing with your yeah. fingers. <laughs> you, you but you're, but you're way, saying, baby. There's, actually, there's, there's video of it. Oh, God. You've come a long way, baby. <laughs> So Sorry, continue. There's okay, a video. That's it. That's it. Babies do it in the womb. That's it. <laughs> hey, sex is not that inherently is a good point, evil. Though. It's completely natural. It's like yeah. it's science. I mean, you're gonna tell me that those like little baby fetuses are somehow sinners? Like they're yeah. they're not even people yet. Like come yeah, on. He's like, I know this is wrong, but <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, There's God. nobody else in here but me. There's yeah. a, I love it, the idea of a war on pornography, though. Like, you're right. It's the most... To say that you're having a war on drugs, that doesn't make me giggle. <laughs> <laughs> but a war on porn, I just yeah. picture, like, nuns with sticks coming, like, into that, that situation. Like, that's, that's where the war against pornography is fought. Yeah. Like, in crappy bedrooms with like <laughs> strobing you know that print. light that comes on yeah. and it's like it's just it's just so sad yeah. it's that like probably cost a lot it's of like money an affluent crackdown is what it looks like it's just like <laughs> ikea furnishings and just like imax instead of like bands and syringes it's instead of yeah instead of empty needles all over the place it's just like used, used kleenex <laughs> And you've, heard, you've heard of uh, not po uh, make love not porn, right? No. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's um. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it was uh, this woman. Uh, oh crap! I forgot her name. I interviewed her on my podcast, but she's great. She has this amazing accent, and she's like kind of a cougar, and she like date younger men all the time. Like she's Please. and she's a genius. Mm -hmm. But she um. She and some others designed a website that's it's basically it's not Nina Hartley, is it? No, 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 no. Oh, she's great too. But um, where it's it's basically like amateur porn, but the idea is that like as a couple, you become a member, you post your videos on it. But there's like different second sections. It's showing sex and people people making love, not just like oh yeah, this is how sex happens because it's so, so narrow. 
Yeah. Oh, this that is sex. Realistic. Boom, boom. Yeah, right? That's how it happens uh, well, in that's porn. That's the thing. It's like when, <laughs> yeah. you, when, you, the, when they say when people are watching more and more porn, you become more detached from how most people have had sex for the entire universe's time. Oh, totally. Yes. So you yeah. just imagine like that it's just like oh oh pump it hump it. <laughs> like when it, like you know you know that porno where everyone's like pump it hump it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> pump it hump it. Don't you stop. Wow <laughs> wow squirt it squirt it. Dunk it down it. This is my favorite song of the oh, summer. Yeah. <laughs> but no, Hashtag so but I continue, it, continue. It. So what what it shows people having like normal sex? Yeah, yes. it's just it's encouraging people to, to post more authentic Do they sex. Cry like at have the you end okay, of it? have you ever watched experience. a couple have sex? <laughs> have you ever watched a couple have sex not in like a porn way, but like in an authentically like how they actually have sex uh, together? No, way. because that yes. feels somewhat Kinsey creepy. Kinsey did a bunch of research and put it up and I got yeah. to watch it all when I did nice. sex research. Wait, nice. They took videos yeah. for Kinsey yeah. Project? Yeah, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. so I tried to set that up once, but she wasn't able to deliver. Oh, she man. couldn't find a guy who was willing to. Anyway, anyway. it's a very <laughs> different thing. It's still very hot, and I th I find like way more of a turn on because it feels much more like it connects Authentic. more. Yeah. Um, it just on so many levels. So. When I think of the war of, on porn, the porn industry one is changing a lot the last mm -hmm. couple of years, like feminist porn, DSLRs. all the. Uh, yeah, DSLRs, exactly. Shallow depth of field. You can only see the head of the penis. The shaft is blurred to hell. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just, yeah. It's, it's artsy. Ball <laughs> yeah. <laughs>